This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. The search for dark energy is back in the news. So Russian's space science program is hoping for a rare triumph this month. Spectre RG, an X-ray satellite set to be launched in June 21st from Kazakhstan, aims to map all of the estimated 100,000 galaxy clusters that can be seen across the universe. Containing as many as 1,000 galaxies and the mass of 1 million billion suns, the clusters are the largest structures bound by gravity in the universe. Now this means that surveying them should shed some light on the creation of the universe and the nature of dark energy that is accelerating the expansion of the universe. Spectre RG was first proposed more than 30 years ago as a part of a Soviet plan for a series of ambitious great observatories along the lines of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, but it fell victim to cost cutting in post-Soviet Russia. But the satellite, which will carry German and Russian X-ray telescopes, was reborn early last decade with a new mission, not just to scan the sky for interesting X-ray sources, such as supermassive black holes, but to map enough galaxy clusters to find out what makes the universe work. The new goal meant further delays. Peter Perdrell, leader of the team at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, or MPE, in Garching, Germany, that built one of the satellite's two telescopes, said, quote, there have been many ups and downs. Whenever we thought we were out of the woods, a new one came along, end quote. Spectre RG was born in the late 1980s. Glasnost was encouraging Soviet researchers to collaborate with Western colleagues, and studies of SN1987A, the nearest supernova in modern times, had demonstrated the power of X-rays for tracing such violent events. Rashid Sunyev of Space Research Institute, or IKI, proposed an X-ray observatory to orbit above Earth's atmosphere, which blocks X-rays. The six-ton mission soon bristled with five telescopes and involved 20 institutes in 12 countries, including the United States. But after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Roscosmos struggled to keep its Mir space station aloft and contributed to the growing International Space Station, or ISS. Sunyev, now at the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics in Garching, said, quote, They told us the spacecraft was too large for Russia, too ambitious. It just died, end quote. Resurrection began in 2003 with plans for a smaller mission with a UK-built all-sky X-ray monitor and MPE's X-ray survey telescope called Rosita, which had been destined for the ISS but was grounded by the Challenger space shuttle disaster. The new impetus was cosmology. Studies of distant supernovae in the 1990s had revealed that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Researchers wanted to know more about dark energy, the mysterious force that was causing it, and whether it varied in space or over time. Galaxy clusters are among the best indicators, says X-ray astronomer Andrew Fabian of the Institute of Astronomy, IOA, in Cambridge, UK. Quote, clusters are the most massive objects in the universe, the pinnacle of galaxy formation, and are very sensitive to cosmological models, end quote. They are best seen in x-rays because the gaps between galaxies are filled with uh, gas that's heated to millions of degrees as the galaxies jostle together to form a cluster. Ezra Bulbul of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, who recently joined the MPE team, says Spectre RG will study the evolution of the structure of the universe by mapping these clusters. The challenge was to boost the capabilities of the existing Rosita telescope, which could only garner up to 10,000 galaxy clusters. 
Discussions led to an expensive and extended E-Rosita, paid for by MPE and the German Aerospace Center, DLR. It's an array of seven identical telescopes with five times the effective collecting area of the original instrument. Russia and Germany signed an agreement in 2007 with launch penciled in for 2012. Mission development, however, was not smooth. The UK instrument failed to win funding and was replaced with a Russian telescope called ARTXC, which will complement E-Rosita by detecting scarcer high energy X-rays. Though harder to collect, the higher energy photons are particularly useful for seeing the supermassive black holes at galactic centers because they pierce the clouds of gas and dust that shroud them, making the mirrors for E. Rosita also proved much harder than expected. Because X-rays would penetrate a traditional flat telescope mirror, Focusing them requires cylindrical mirrors that gather X-ray photons in glancing low-angle reflections off inner surfaces. Each of E. Rosita's seven scopes contain 54 gold-plated cylindrical mirrors nested inside one another that must be shaped precisely to bring the photons to a focus making them proved so difficult that the MPE team had to fire its main contractor partway through. A decision to place the telescope at a quiet, gravitationally balanced point beyond the moon outside the shelter of Earth's magnetic field meant electronics had to be hardened against solar radiation. Incompatibility between the German and Russian electronics delayed the launch, as did problems with the spacecraft's communication system and a change in launch rocket. But now that Spectre RG is finally ready, expectations are high. A IOA astronomer George Lansbury, taking X-ray studies into the big data regime, said, quote, it's going to be revolutionary in terms of numbers, end quote. It may also be a rare high point for Russia's Great Observatories program. Previously, only one has made it into orbit, 2011's Spectre-R, a radio astronomy mission that fell short of expectations and could, be, could not be revived after malfunctioning earlier this year. Astronomers may face a long wait for Spectre RG's successors, the ultraviolet telescope Spectre UV and Spectre M, a millimeter wave radio telescope. Spectre UV has survived moments of near death, most recently in 2014 when Russia's annexation of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula caused major Ukrainian partners to withdraw. The mission is now slated for a 2025 launch, but Sunyev says some collaborations, including a German team supplying a spectrograph, have dropped out. Spectre M, which would come next, is not fully funded. And in the meantime, rival telescopes launched by other countries may scoop up the science the Russian missions aim to do. Spectre RG Chief Mikhail Pavlinsky of IKI says, quote, Russia is doing as much as possible with the budget available, end quote. He notes that Roscosmos' lean budget worth 20.5 billion U.S. dollars over 10 years faces multiple demands. Russia is building the landing system for the European ExoMars rover due to launch next year. And like other countries... It hopes to return to the moon with the Luna 25 lander in 2021. For Russia's astrophysics, Pavlinsky says, quote, it means slow progress, end quote. Now, as always, I would like to know what you think. Do you think dark matter or dark energy will ever be discovered? And if so, will the Americans beat the Russians to it? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And until next time, take care. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the most unique special offer in Skywatch TV history. We proudly announce the Vault Declassified Special Collection. 
For your $35 donation during this very limited time offer, you'll receive the new book by Pentagon analyst Lieutenant Colonel Robert McGinnis, Progressive Evil, How Radicals Are Redefining America's Rights, Making Her Globally Irrelevant for the End Times. Derek P. Gilbert's astonishing new book, Bad Moon Rising, Islam, Armageddon, and the Most Diabolical Double Cross in History, and the groundbreaking new book from Carl Gallup's Gods of the Final Kingdom, Unveiling the Secrets of the Raging Celestial War. And now, in a Skywatch TV first, directly from Tom Horn's personal private vault, you'll receive completely free of charge the never-before-released Tom Horn Secret Files USB flash drive. This drive is not available anywhere else and comes completely loaded with hundreds of files, including the world-exclusive, behind-the-scenes, off-the-record video interview regarding perhaps the biggest scandal and cover-up in U.S. history. So hot, we're unable to discuss the specific contents on network television. This two-hour investigative interview has not been released anywhere else and provides new forensic information connected to the Robert Mueller report that may soon send shockwaves through Washington, D.C. and around the world. The Tom Horn Secret Files USB flash drive also includes the Defender Films full-length two-time Telly Award-winning documentary movie, Inhuman. The much sought after Defender Red Letter Edition Bible with expanded apocrypha on Kindle and digital files. Eastward Bible software. Brand new video presentations from the Watchmen Conference. A massive data library of ebooks with tens of thousands of pages and hours of bonus interviews on video with leading prophecy experts. The Tom Horn Secret Files USB flash drive is valued at over $500. Yours now absolutely free when you order the Vault Declassified Special Collection from Skywatch TV. But we're still not done. Skywatch TV's off-the-record series is backed by popular demand with the Gods of War edition on DVD, featuring exclusive interviews with Pastor Carl Gallops, Senior Pentagon Analyst Robert McGinnis, and Derek and Sharon Gilbert on the coming hyper-battle between the forces of God and the titans of biblical prophecy. This unprecedented collection, sold separately, holds a retail value of over $600. Yours now for only $35 plus shipping and handling. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime Skywatch TV exclusive offer that's too hot for network television, the Vault Declassified Special Collection. Available now at skywatchtvstore.com. Order online or call 1-844-750-4985.